This is Rasha. Uh, she's uh, uh, from Syria, an yes. English teacher. Yes. Um, can you tell me, how long do you plan to stay here for? To plan? Yeah. We, uh, we're supposed to, to leave now. We're supposed to, to, we can't uh, stay uh, more than... Uh, we will stay till they open the door. <coughs> there is no plan, okay? I, I'm shocked from uh, the, uh, the Hungarian police. Why? We just want to pass and go to any other safe country. That's what we want, okay? To pass safely. So you <coughs> it's very cold here. It's very cold. We don't have clothes. We don't have tent. Uh, I have a kid. I don't know what will happen. But we will stay till they open. That's what we know. Will you try and cross illegally? I know that's something that some people are considering doing now. Illegally? Yeah. Uh, I mean, our... illegally as in through the, through the fence. No, no. No. How? There is no way. We want to pass. We want them to open the door and all of us pass. Where did you, you come from originally? You came from Syria or you Syria were... to Turkey. To, to Turkey. Okay, illegally to Turkey because we don't have Syrian passport. Okay, to Turkey, to Geek, NC, to Magdo, to Firum, to uh, Serbia, and now here. All our trip is illegally. Yes. And how long has the journey taken you and how much? Ten days. It, how much does it cost you? Cost? Uh, till now, uh, we uh, put per person uh, 2,000 euro per person. And we don't have money now. There's no money left. No, no. But we want to, to pass, even if we want, even we have to walk. We have to pass. If they don't they want to take us, take our kids, okay? Take my kids and put her in Germany in any other safe place. It's, uh, I don't, it doesn't matter. I want to go for my kids. All of them wants to go for their kids, not for them the, themselves. Okay? Take our kids to Germany. No and you, problem. You and I will come back to Syria. I don't want uh, I, I, my right to live a safe life. I don't want this right. I want it for my kids to go to school. It's a simple right, yeah? And tell me about the area of Damascus that you've come from. What, what is the situation there at the moment? Very bad. I came from Al Yarmoukam, from Damascus. It's, it's very bad. No, no food, no money, no, not, no bread, okay? And it's war. It's war? Yes. And you, you say you have no money left. How, are you, how no. are you managing to cope now? How are you, how are you surviving? How are you getting by? Uh, me, like the others. We don't have money. We don't have food. Really, I don't have food. I, I don't know how to, what I'm going to eat and to feed my daughter. And you, your daughter's name is? Alma. Alma? Yes. And how old's Alma? How old are you? Tell him. Uh, six. Six, yes. Six years old. What we want to open the door and all of us pass safely. We, we don't want to stay in Hungarian uh, country, no. Uh, at the other door, they take uh, our fingerprint, okay, and uh, stuck the, the people, the families who took their fingerprint, they stuck there and they comes. We don't want to stay in Hungary, okay? No. And we don't want to, to go to other country just to take money and sit. No, no, we want to, to uh, work. Okay, I'm a teacher, a teacher. I can work, I can teach. But, uh, but not in Hungary. I don't want to stay there. So how long do you think you, you can just simply stay here for? It's very difficult for us to stay more than other night. It's very, very difficult. Look, look, look to our bed. That's our bed, okay? <coughs> So it's very difficult for us. We want them to, to open the door quickly because we will die, really. But we will stay. How many nights, how many days, I don't know. I really don't know.